Oh man, the lighting's still kind of uneven. I mean, like, okay. That should do it. Hello everyone. I was taking that long because I felt like it. Anyway, so today on Bimbo Builds, we are building a office chair. I have a few things that I actually need to build, but today I decided that I would be doing the office chair because um, I'm really, okay, as you guys know, when I stream, this light is like in my face, okay. As you guys know, when I stream, I'm always like moving around, having to readjust my chair because this is my current chair. This is my current chair. And this chair, it's okay. You know, it has a little kickstand that I never use that comes out and you can rest your legs on. And As you can see for the seating, I have to use these purple, it's the brand purple, obviously they're black. These purple, I don't even know what you call them, lumbar rest and chair seat. And they're okay, they feel good, but it's really annoying when I sit in the chair and I have to constantly like readjust it. You see how floppy it is? So I have to constantly put this back because it'll go forward. It will inch forward slowly as I stream like this. And then this will go like that. And it's really uncomfortable. And without it, I don't feel like the chair is comfortable enough. So that's why I am building a new chair today. Because I'm tired of my back hurting. I do enough carrying you guys. I carry everyone here. You'd be lost without me. Okay, so I'm going to get the chair out in one second and show you guys what we're working with. But if you guys want to send your message for me to read, you can do so at BrittanyVenti.com. I'm going to pin it at the end of the chat. I mean, at the top of the chat. There you go. It's pinned. And I will read the messages. Uh, let me open the super chats as well. I had to clear so much stuff out of the way. I had a busy day today, guys. I had to spend way too much time on my makeup because, and, and before women, okay, when I get so sick and tired, like, Oh, a woman hears me say how long it takes me to do makeup if I'm doing like full eye makeup. And they're like, um, actually I can do that in like five minutes. It's like, yeah, okay, well you don't have slanty eyes that are fucking miles apart with no lid, state, lid space, do you bitch? So do not come at me for how much time my whole routine takes and that's why I'm always late because it, I, I didn't choose to have this hair. I didn't choose to have odd features to have to work with with makeup that make it extremely hard when you have <sighs> petals. Am I getting hair all over my mouth? Petals over here. I should put the camera lower so you guys can see. Can you see pet petals? There you are. Okay, you can see her now. Uh. But yeah, my skin is like combination skin and it's really hard to work with and I'm currently having a crisis with my skin. I've been to a dermatologist a few times, so it's a work in progress, so it's just not easy. It's just a whole ordeal. Every time I have to go on camera, every time I like, sometimes I'll just say screw it and go on without makeup, but I don't know. I get tired of looking dumpy sometimes. 
hit. Spooky, by the way. Okay, so I have my laptop on top of a little like cat chair. There's a hole in it so they can go in it. And Spooky's in it and Petals is wandering over here and Spooky's like guarding his hole where my laptop is on top of. Here we go. I haven't done a bimbo bistro in a while either after the laptop incident. I do have a new laptop now, which is what I'm using, thankfully, but I haven't set it up. I wanted to try streaming from the laptop to use a different camera, but anyway. Um, why don't the new super chats pop up? I could have sworn I just saw one pop up. That's really weird that it's not updating. Okay. It's so much easier when you have two screens versus just, just one screen. Where is that? Okay. So I'm gonna pull out the chair. Here it is. The Balm Star chair, whatever that means. They probably were Chinese and just picked whatever word sounded cool to be honest. But this is the chair I picked because I wanted a chair that didn't have a headrest because I know it's like, oh, that sounds comfy, but it's not. It just pushes your neck forward and makes you virgin neck. And I don't want to deal with it because they're never adjustable. Like, what is it with chairs? They're never adjustable enough. They always like make it so you can't adjust shit. And then they're like, wow, it's so comfy. Yeah, okay. You're gonna design a chair for like, what? One person on the earth it fits perfectly for? It's so dumb. Like people are different heights and proportions. Like some people have longer chests or legs. Anyway, this is what we're working with. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. After a hard day's work, I think I'm going to eat some pizza. This is from last night. It's pepperoni pizza. Um, I'm working hard. I'm literally shaking. I'm working hard. It's not burnt. It's almost burnt. saying burnt acting like you wouldn't eat this pizza you guys are the same people who go to women and be like pointy elbows elbows too pointy would not bang would not smash that's you guys with the pizza oh my god the pepperonis are crispy i would never eat that 
never put that in my mouth. Thank you, Mahandra fan, for the five Australian dollars. That is a pizza, not a chair, you liar. Well, I wouldn't be eating the chair. God. Because all you guys know how to do is gaslight. Oh, I w that pizza is burnt. You're, you're eating the pizza when you said you would build a chair. Like, who's really the dishonest one here? Oh, I just realized I forgot to post my Instagram that I was live. Oh, well. I mean, I can still do it. I'm just going to have to tie out for a second. wipe the grease off. <laughs> like. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna stop that greasy. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. You don't want to tuck it. The stream might freeze for a second. I have to post on Instagram that I'm live because I forgot and I don't have Twitter to announce it. Crap, hold on. I have to send myself the link. Um, where's the stupid thing? Stay there. Stay there a second. Everyone calm down! I'm going to tab out for one second. Everyone stay here. Be good. I'll be right back. Hold on. Hold on. I'm almost done. Hold on. I'm almost done. I have one more Instagram I have to tab out and post on to. Give me one second. I'm almost done. I'm streaming from my phone so I didn't have another. Hold on. Ugh. I didn't have another way of doing that. I can't do it from the computer like posting on my story. Now I'm sweating. That was so much work. I need a pizza break again. eating burnt pizza it's still not that bad though the bone's tilted Just like me. I'm about to be tilted. Did you guys keep coming at me? 
when I literally haven't even began building the chair yet. I'll have you know before I built this chair that you should instill your confidence in me that I am competent. I mean, look at some of my other my other streams of me building things. I did pretty good. Sure, the one rolling shelf I made still doesn't have one of the shelves working, but you know, it is functional and the instructions sucked. So with that said, um, this chair I'm gonna build, you should have faith in me. Like I screwed in my first light bulb today. And I almost, almost dropped it. I only almost dropped the light bulb once. There were four light bulbs. So that's pretty good for a first try. So I feel like I'm just naturally intelligent and I'm able to just understand things very quickly and able to construct things together and articulate exactly what I mean and do exactly what I need to do and what I want because like I believe in myself. You guys should take notes. And sure, I may have burnt this pizza, but that's because I was busy trying to set up for the stream. Dan Holland, five pounds. That pizza is so burnt, it wants to invade Palestine. <laughs> eat one slice of pizza without you guys being anti-semitic please there's only two pieces left don't worry did you see what I have to deal with this cat is all over the place and people look at him and they think he's a kitten. He's not a kitten. He's just very small and psychotic. Oh, he found a bread tie. Excellent. Look, look, look what he brought me. A, a bread tie. Thank you, Spooky. Now you're looking, he's looking for it. wants to play. Usually he jumps up to let me pet him. Bring. Bring. Want some petals? Want some bread tie? Smell it. Ah! How dare you? That was very rude. That was very rude. Yeah, his name is Spooky, but I call him Spook for short. Fuck off! He just like tapped my foot because he's attacking this. Here, go. Want it? Want it? Get it. Okay, I guess his brain is little too. He didn't even bother getting it. You can't have my pizza. No. Why is there gold on my face? Because I felt like it. Why don't you have gold on your face? What are you, a fucking peasant? You don't put metals on your face? What do you live in New York? Like, are you in a third world country? Why are you wearing a bra? Why are you staring at my tits? Stop looking at my tits. Look at the cats or something. 
Get a girlfriend. Stop watching porn. Or don't tell them. Don't tell them. Gatekeep. Girl gatekeep. Guys, I was talking to someone in chat. I wasn't telling you guys to spell out the N-word. That's the second time you guys are trying to get me kicked off of this stream before I even get a chance to build the chair. You look greasy. Oh, sorry. Let me just go ahead and apply another layer of mattifying powder for you. Did you wash your ass today? I'm sorry not all of us have perfect skin and straight hair so that we can always look amazing and squeaky clean. I'm sorry not all of us are perfect like you. It's one thing to be ugly because that just means you're putting no effort in yourself. It's another thing to get on someone's case about being imperfect. It's like, Oh, I didn't, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you literally were born perfect. Good for you. Why don't you go jerk yourself off to your mirror? Asshole. You can't make, like, if someone's ugly because they have, like, a monstrosity feature that you can't say something about it. But it's, like, he's nitpicking. He's, like, oh, you look shiny. Like, yeah, because I'm I'm valuable, like a diamond. That's why I'm fucking shiny. Why aren't you shiny? You know what dirty people are? Not shiny. They don't glisten like a diamond. Like freshly brushed teeth. Didn't, didn't you guys watch Fairly Odd Parents? My shiny teeth and me. Shiny teeth, shiny teeth. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I just want to let you guys know that a lot of the time when I burp, I actually don't know how loud they're going to be until they happen. So, yeah. I like how some people, they get on my case about burping as if I could control it. Like as if, oh, so the next time you need to fart, hold it in your asshole then. I hope you hold it in then. Like I just naturally burp loud. It's not intentional. And it happens if I eat things or if I drink like anything really, but especially sparkling, sparkling water. $5 super chat from Spectral Citizen. Are the two kitties but buddies yet? No. Petals was hissing at him today. He won't get from up her ass. It's like the same dynamic as you guys with me. Like he just keeps attacking Petals and getting on her case. And Petals is just like, can I catch a break? Can I just have a moment of peace? And I feel really bad for her because I don't know what to do. I don't know how to make my cats get along. And I've never had this problem before and I've always had two cats since I was like 15. So not these two, but a few times. And I've never had this be this much of a problem. He's an outdoor cat and she's like a purebred princess ragdoll that was raised from birth indoors. He's eating cotton? Where? Spooky! He actually does that, so I believe you. Spooky? Spooky. Spook. Brown. What are you eating? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. Get over here. Don't you knock my light over! I give up. 
I give up. Fuck it. If he wants to eat a hair, he can eat a fucking hairball. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. So, before we begin building... What is he eating? Like, he's showing his ass right now. He doesn't normal. He normally is really active, but he doesn't do this. What are you eating? Oh, my God. He's showing his ass right now. Because he knows, like, I'm streaming. He always does this. When I stream, he's like, oh, I need to go on the desk. I need to sit in your lap. <laughs> Oh, it's just a bread tie. Here. Here you go. It's a fishy now. Now it's a fishy. Wait. Now it's a fishy. I made that with love. Psycho. Anyway. I feel like the light's shitty again. Am I, am I, am I wrong here? Okay, so if you guys wanna donate, you can do so at BrittanyVenti.com. I'm gonna start unpacking the chair. Wait, 4 dollars super chat from Arudi. Women can do anything, even build chairs and burp chants. Bimbo power. Thank you. Uh, Dan Helen, $3 super chat, three pounds super chat. You look like King Midas gave you a facial. So these are the wheels. Okay, what what is this? What is this? This is intimidating. Like I know what all of these are. I've built enough things. At, I've built enough things at this point, but this is a mess. You know what else is a mess? Nick Monroe apparently got banned from Twitter. And I'm not happy about it. He was the only one doing uh, like Andrew Tate coverage, like and actually showing things that nobody talks about and trying to fact check things. So that's really unfortunate. I heard about the Tim Pool censorship too. Um, <clears throat> I'm against censorship in general, how he got kicked off of Bandcamp, I believe it was. But also, how is he going to tweet about it? Wait, this is cloth? Why did I buy cloth? Am I fucking stupid? My cats are going to ruin this immediately. It's it was over before it began. I don't I I must have I must have ordered this at like 3 like I don't know, like 5 a.m. when I start getting tired. I I just What was I thinking? What was I thinking ordering a cloth chair with two cats? You just saw how psychotic he is. See? This isn't gonna survive around him. What do I have to do? Like give a catnip offering so they don't fuck my chair right up? What do I do? I can't send this back. I mean, I could, but... I don't know, like... It was like $200, I think. I don't wanna have to build a chair again though. <laughs> Put a scratch post next to it. Actually, that's one of the things I have to build is a scratch post, so that's actually not a bad idea. Okay, I'm gonna build it. I should have gotten leather. I, I hate myself right now. <sighs> Guess we're just gonna have an ugly chair.
anyway, Tim Pool Bandcamp ban. Um, so this podcast got pu pulled from Bandcamp, and it's like, I anti censorship, and that sucks. But also, he didn't give a shit about my censorship. So, even so, I I don't think it's right, and I don't think that they should just be pulling his podcast. Obviously, it's a company, and they can do what they want, but I don't think anything that crazy goes on with Tim Pool for them to pull it. So, like, do they not like money? What is he doing that's so horrendous that they have to pull it instead of just making money? TSUA five dollars. Nice chairs come pre-built. Um, those nice chairs are a thousand dollars or more. And I've had those before and I hate them. So I've had the Steel Series uh chair, like I've had all of those nice chairs before. I've had the the classic like racer chair. I I just hate all of them. I want like a normal office chair that just like holds the bottom of my back up. That's that's all I want. And Maybe adjustable armrests. But yeah, like, you know, Tim Pool's tweeting about how Bank Hip kicked him off, and it's like, but when I got censored by Eliza Blue, you blacklisted me from going on your show for, because Cassandra's friends with her. So, I don't know. That it's one of those situations where it's like, how can you expect people to support you when you actively suppress? Like, it's not like, oh, he just chose not to talk about it. Like, no, he canceled my appearance. He actively suppressed the story because of conflict of interest. Because his booker is friends with the person who censored me. And then now it's like, oh, Tim Pool got censored. So it, it makes me just a little irritated. But I still think that he shouldn't be banned from band camp. I don't think he does anything that crazy. Okay, what do you think this part's for? I think this is the bottom when you like ding the jerk your chair up and down. Well, I need to make this chat bigger. I can't, I feel like I can't see. Okay, there we go. What sort of chair is it? It's a an office chair that's like a white taupe color. Like this part's white, but the seat part is taupe. Like light, can't, light khaki, but cool tone. I don't know how to translate this word. Okay, it's so weird. You have to like translate color words for men. Because if I say taupe, men don't know what that means. Like, I guess, because if you say light brown, it's not quite the color. Because light brown is like warm, is what people think of. This is like a grayish brown that's light. You like go through hoops just to describe colors to men. Men can't even color. I think it's because they're colorblind. Like statistically, a lot more men are colorblind than women because that's how the chromosomes work. So then men just gaslight us and are like, you're, the, there's no difference in those colors. And it's literally because they can't see them. So they're just gaslighting us. Just Google the fucking color, guys. Just Google the color taupe. Just use Google. It's not hard. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me, let me just pull a swatch out of my ass swatch of colors for you guys to look at every single time I mention a color. Ow. Okay, so this is what the armrest looks like. It's another armrest. Why would they send me this? I mean, it smells clean. Doesn't smell like it's been used. 
Does this turn it on? That lifts the chair up. Oh, I thought it lifts something else up. Anyway. For your pleasure? Yeah, it's for your pleasure in the chair, apparently. <clears throat> Should have probably took out a garbage bag. So this is what the back looks like. It's mesh. That's what I wanted because I, I was thinking it would feel good on my back. Honestly, though, this the back of the chair is way bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be like down here, like one of those little rinky dinky office chairs that you have at like minimum wage office jobs. But it has this weird thing in the back. I guess it's supposed to support your lower back where I, I just don't like I don't like when they add these extra things I don't like it like am I unironically gonna have to send this chair back because every time they add some stupid little gadget like this it just ends up hurting and being super uncomfortable it better be adjustable because they never make this stuff adjustable it's like you buy a chair and it's unadjustable in every way possible unless you spend a thousand dollars and they're just like good luck top donator on here like old school twitch style old school streamer style anyway I don't know what I should write on here I'll think of something Wait, where are the instructions? That's it? Okay, shouldn't be that hard. Looks pretty simple, right? Five pounds from Dan Holland. Give it to the next stream for Brittany to complain that the chair is uncomfortable. Oh, and that's my fault? Oh, I'm so sorry for being in pain. That's totally my fault for being in pain. All right. It says, align the wheels with the leg, put the gas rod in. Apparently this is a gas rod. Is there actually gas in here? Like, do you have to refill it? So you put it on top of the star looking thing that's busted and scratched on the side. Thank you. Okay, put that in and then put the, wait, I'll do this after, it's heavy. Okay, we're off to a good start, pretty straightforward. Every time someone drops, something drops on the ground, my heart just sinks because I know the lady downstairs is probably gonna get aggravated and start hitting the fucking floor. Which by the way, I don't know how she does because the other day, my upstairs neighbors were really loud and there's a lot of levels here. And I was like thinking about it, I was like, oh, what if I did what the lady downstairs does to me and be a bitch? And so I thought about it and I was like, how do you even get up there? The ceilings are like so high. Like how, how would, did she, she must have just had it like a long ass stick ready. Like literally a shut the fuck up stick. This neighbor downstairs, she literally, literally ordered, went on Amazon, typed in the shut the fuck up stick. And that's how she got that. Cause I don't know how she's reaching the ceiling consistently every time, only five seconds after I drop something. I don't know how she does it. Ow! Good thing I don't have long nails anymore. $10 
$10 super chat from the Dallas Dead Eye. Write me down, queen. Okay. I'm going to draw you. Wait, that looks like a different word. Okay, thank you, uh, the Dallas Deadeye. He has a WC as his profile pic, so I went ahead and I drew that. And um, I'm, in case people who don't understand what that means, WC, his profile pic, I put White Kook. I think that's what it stands for. So thank you, White Kook, um, C-U-C-K, for the Pandora donation. Anyway, let's finish this stuff. And then you're supposed to draw this in this way. Okay. Step one done. Step two. Okay, what the fuck? No, because I'm going to show you guys how it goes from, you know those memes where it's like how to draw, like insert animal or whatever? Like how to draw an owl. Step one, make a circle. Step two, draw owl, and it's just a perfect owl. That's literally these instructions. Look at this. This was step one. Now look at step two. Though just a whole ass chair appears. What? I'm sorry. What? They, they're saying the instructions as if it's like they're doing it as if this is attached to this. But it's not, it doesn't come attached. Okay, you know what? We're gonna figure this out eventually. I, I, I am, I didn't think the instructions would be that bad to enjoy your new chair. Yeah, seriously. Ikea does that now too, read carefully. They're just lazy. They were so lazy with the instructions. Why are they so lazy? <coughs> okay, so this says it's, this is the front. So this is the back. There's no, okay, there's four holes here. So, which one of these is it? Because there's four long ones and four short ones. So I don't know which one it is. Earlier today, I had my washer and dryer fixed because it randomly started making noises like it was gonna explode and that scared me so they came and fixed it and they can go into your apartment without you being there if you say so because they have a key and so last night i had to weigh which weigh on which one was worse so it was like okay so you guys know i go to sleep really late lately i've been going to bed at like 6 a.m so i'm not gonna be up when he's here like he's gonna come here at like 9 a.m. or something, okay? Because that's that's what they do. And I'm like, there's no way in hell I'm going to be up at 9 a.m. And if I do get up, I'm going to have a migraine and be really tired all day and probably not be able to stream. So I had to weigh my options between leaving, because when you're, okay, so when you're inside, you can lock the top lock, 
which doesn't let them get in because that's how they would know you're home. But if you're not home, you can only lock the bottom one so that they can just unlock it and come in when you're not home. So I was like, okay, be great potentially because I'm unconscious and they're just entering my home or lock the door and then be sleep deprived. So I was like, eh, you know, I do like my sleep. So, you know, I took my chances and I just uh, went ahead and left that one lock unlocked, left the other one locked that they can unlock. But yeah, so they came in and they um, fixed my dryer and my washer and put in light bulbs, but then the light bulbs were too bright. So then I had to put in my own light bulbs because you guys know I'm really light sensitive. And so I did it all by myself with Sean on the phone helping me. And they're a lot better now. And I think my washer works now. I'll have to smell my towels after they come out of the dryer. But everything around here has just been breaking like all at once and it's really annoying because I couldn't do my laundry for a day and I needed underwear and stuff. Literally, it's just like, this picture that they give you, it's just like a hundred different things on it. Look at, it's just a hundred different things. I can't, I can't decipher this. Okay, they're saying put the wash, the, the, what do you call them? Wash, put these things, what do you call them? The washer? These things? I don't know what you call them. It says to put that in with the screws, but it doesn't say which screw. Nine, number nine. Okay, so the long screws. Okay, it does say. Washers. That, that, is that funny that they're called washers and I was just talking about washer machine? Anyway. $5 super chat from Joseph Magil, chair building fee. Oh, it's a lot more than that. Have you guys ever ordered furniture from Amazon and they give you an option to hire someone from Amazon to build it for you? And it'll be something like, let's say like a cat scratching post, like this one. It'll be something like this one, right? Where it's very simple. It's just like two parts you screw together. And they'll, and they'll be like, would you like us to come build that for you for a hundred dollars? I'm like, are you serious? They just try to jip you. Like what if you don't know how difficult it is and it's super simple and you get it and then you just wasted a hundred dollars. It's so dumb. It's like more than a hundred dollars, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Low Cameron, two Canadian dollars. My roommate never washed his clothes, saved money. Wow, he should try not wiping his ass next. Save money on toilet paper. Amazon will literally charge you like $200 to assemble a paperweight. Yeah, exactly. I got an NFM to assemble a whole squat rack for $50 to $100. Yeah, Amazon scams you with the whole like servicing building thing. That's why we're building this ourselves. Wait. Okay, screws and washer. Then you remember millennials live with us and can't back up cars without cameras. That's crazy that they rely on the camera. When Sean was teaching me how to drive, which is still an ongoing thing, but I have my license. Uh, I'm a new driver, but when he was teaching me when I was even newer, he literally, to the, to even now by the way, he, he still won't let me use the camera when I back up. He literally will not let me use it. He's like, and it's because he's millennial, though. I think millennials do know how to back up without the camera. I think it's Zoomers who don't. Because he's like, no, you have to, you have to back up without the camera because you have to know how to do it. What if you didn't have a camera? And it's like, every car has a camera now. 
well, am I getting a car from like 1991? I would if I could, but they don't work anymore. You're already cheating by using the backup sensors anyway. My first car didn't have that shit. You're just like those parents that like abuse their kid because their parents abuse them. They're like, well, my parents didn't let me have a roof over my head, so you can't have it. Like, oh my God, crap bucket mentality much? I'm being bullied. Ladies, all two of you in chat, does your boyfriend let you use the backup camera? We already talked about yesterday why men being driven around by women is feminine behavior. But, so we're going to assume that your men are driving you around. But do they let you use the backup camera on the occasions where you've had to drive? Yeah, break the cycle. Stop passing down your, like traumas onto me because you had to deal with not having technology in your car also people are pointing out what if it breaks when it snowed the cameras didn't work cope more oh my god in texas you mean when it snows one day out of the year oh no when you're not even supposed to be on the road we shouldn't have been on the road that day oh no i can't use the camera like it just means you're gonna have to try a little harder doesn't mean you literally won't be able to back out into a space. It just means it's going to take you an extra minute because you're not used to it. Okay, it's just us to screw these in, so that's what I'm doing. Do they give you, like, a... Oh, they do. Okay. I was like, where's the thing to screw it in? I don't want to use my hands. One day of the year can be a $10,000 accident. Okay, but you don't need skill to be able to just look behind you and use your mirrors. You could just go slow. You shouldn't be on the road on snow, on snow days in Texas anyway because they don't know how to clean the roads. I'm waiting to watch you assemble this chair bong and I have to take the whole thing apart. <laughs> Aww. Aw, you're a man. You're gonna have to build things. Aw. How unfortunate. It's almost like I have to cook things. Wow. I can't believe that. Your camera is having, when your camera's having latency? What are you talking about? Maybe your brain's having latency. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is what the intro. I, I I feel like I'm I'm just so anxious about building this because I have no idea what these screws are. I mean, like, no, actually, what are these screws for? I'm actually kind of confused. Like, why am I putting these screws here? Like, it says to, but like, why? Like, if the chair thingy is supposed to just go in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Step three, step four. They, they're literally skipping steps. They're not saying at what point you're supposed to put this on. It just ends up at step five that it's just on apparently, because how else would the chair go on the thing? That doesn't make sense. Do you guys see what I mean? At no point do they tell you to put this piece on, even though obviously you have to, to put this piece on. Sean, I need help. Maybe. Maybe you had a point or two about the back camera, okay? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm like, because it doesn't say when to put this on. I can't tell. It's like a black and white image and they don't color in anything. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm going to assume I, I need to take these screws out. Okay, I'm just going to intellectually 
do this. I'm going to, what's it called? Improvise. I'm just going to intellectually improvise the chair. No, figure it out yourself. Look up a YouTube video like an adult. Oh, yeah, let me just do that really quick in the middle of streaming. Hey, Jamie. Jamie, where are you? Jamie, can you look up that video? Put it on the bottom first. Put what on the bottom first? What do you mean by it? This is English. Specify your subject. Bracket first, screws go through the bracket of the chair. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying. I'm just going to improvise and figure it out intellectually. Listen, I was able to screw in four light bulbs today. I should be able to assemble this entire chair with no issues. The instructions literally don't tell you to do this. You, I, you know, wanna know how I know a man wrote these instructions? Because they're fucking gaslighting me. That's how I know. A man wrote these instructions. Okay, they're aligned. What is that YouTube video? Okay, so I'm going to click it and I'm going to be here silent two minutes. Like how cooking instructions forget half the fucking recipe. No, this is way worse. This is way worse because like food. Okay, if you fuck up the chair, you're out of $200. If you fuck up food, you're out of like what? Like $10 in ingredients at most. Don't screw it in backwards. It's not. Wait. Wait, how am I supposed to know which way is backwards? This is so it says this is the front. Wait, fuck. Um, so this is the front of the chair. Which way does it go? I don't know how you guys are supposed to tell me. Okay, the part with the nozzle, the part with the, the, the flashlight on it. Okay, like which way does it go? Does it go where the front is over here where the sticker is the front or does it go in the back? Does this go in the front or the back? The other way? It's backwards, okay. Okay, glad we caught that when we were only one screw in. I forgot to put the washer on the screw anyway, so it's fine. The adjustment lever goes on your right hand. Wait, the right hand? So wait, that means it's the right way though. It goes in the, you guys are saying half the back, half the front. The side handle thing goes on the right side here if you're sitting on it, okay. Let me, let me unscrew this. That sounds like it's correct. <laughs> Brittany interacting with chat like it's Blue's Clues. <laughs> the word of the day is competence. Can you spell competence? Oh, wait, no, it's Dora, the Explorer. Okay, so this is the front. This needs to be on the right side. No, wait, right's this way. I don't know if I'm dyslexic. Anyway, wait, where did I just turn it? Front. Okay, so I'm sitting on it. Right side. This should be on the right over here. So if this is going under, then that has to go here. Okay, so this is how I screw it. Okay, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. Okay, okay, okay. I think I had it the right way. Yes, okay, it has to be this way. So this is the way I'm doing it. Ah, so I had it the wrong way. Good catch though, chat, good catch. Save me like an hour of having to disassemble the chair. I never knew what people meant when they said like, oh, dyslexic people struggle with right and left. But now I understand what they mean. Cause I was like, oh my God, that's so dumb. How do you not know your right from your left? You just remember that this is your right. And then by default, the left is your left. 
duh, like what kind of retard wouldn't know that? And then I realized that's not what they mean when they say that, which shame on them for poorly explaining what they meant by that. What it actually means is if you were facing someone and then they were to move their like right arm down and then left leg out, you wouldn't know how to do that because you're like, does that mean this one down, that one down? Because it's opposite. And when you're looking at it, it's confusing. And I found that out through figure skating when my friend was trying to teach me how to do things. And I felt bad because I feel like it takes a lot of patience to have to teach someone the same thing several times after you demonstrate when it's so simple to you, but then to them it's not. So for so when I tried to do that, like she because she's trying to show me how to do this trick where you go like I'm gonna show you. So on the ice, you have to go like I, I might be doing it wrong because I still don't fucking remember, but she said it's like this, and you have to like bend your knee so that you can I don't even know if that's the right way. I think it's this way. And so you can touch the ice, right? So you're able to touch the ice while on your edge. I think it's the other way though. And it's really hard to do when you're on the ice, but it looks cool. And I was like, I don't get it. Is it like right or is it left? And I'm like looking at her doing it and I literally can't figure it out. So that's when I realized I actually do have a hard time from my left, from left to right. And then I noticed when I was an adult, like sometimes, and I've never heard someone dyslexic explain it like this. Maybe I'm just like mentally retarded, but sometimes I'll look at words and they'll randomly change. Like I, like I would have sworn up and down a word was a different word. Like it literally looks like a different word and then I blink and I look back and it's a different word. But I'm pretty sure dyslexia is something that would be diagnosed as a kid, no? Okay, I don't know how tight I'm supposed to screw this. Yeah, that's dyslexia. I don't know. I don't have the medical insurance to find out. I'm in America. I don't have the privilege of knowing if I'm autistic or dyslexic. There's some fuckery going on up there, though. There's something off. I, don't, I just don't know what it is. Okay, one screw in. As tight as possible. You think so? Cause other guys said to leave it a little loose. I mean, fuck it. Ah! I think I stripped it. Anyway, $5 super chat from Steve Oranges. I'm scared of pneumatic chairs ever since I heard about what happened to the Chinese guy whose office chair exploded up his butt. I'll pray for you. Wait, so there actually is gas in the thingy? In this thingy? Oh no. Oh no. I'm getting all the signs I should be sending this chair back. I think I got this chair because I got choice fatigue and I just said, fuck it. I'll get this one. There are too many on Amazon that had all these things that weren't adjustable that I didn't like. So that's how I ended up on this one. I just wanted like a light colored chair that didn't have a headrest thing because they're never adjustable unless you spend like a thousand dollars it seems. Oh, another thing that apparently dyslexic people can't do, and I always thought it was really strange, everyone's reaction to this, like, okay, so you know how if you're driving and a police officer thinks you're drunk and they ask you to recite the alphabet backwards, and I'm like, I can't do that sober. Like, I actually cannot recite the alphabet backwards. It's actually really difficult. And, like, other people, like, thought I was joking when I said that. I'm like, why are you laughing? Like, that's hard. Z, Y, V, U, W, T, S? Did I fuck up? T, 
DPS um, are. Tell me, tell me if I mess up. Um, you missed the X. Son of a bitch! I told you guys I can't do it. Are you drunk? No, I'm not drunk. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have screwed it that hard in because now the other half's like not going down. It's like too far up. Just like how you guys are too far up my ass. Shit. Oh yeah, it's like, okay, yeah, you're drunk because you can't do this ridiculously hard thing. Like, why do they literally treat you like a circus animal when you get pulled over? Like, um, hop on one leg and do a fucking backflip for me. Like, no, just like, just at that point, just put me in jail. Just put me in the cop car. Okay. Cause I'm not, I'm not doing these bunny hops and reciting alphabets backwards, doing these codes. Like, no, it's like, stop humiliating me. This is a humiliation ritual. I, I can't do the alphabet backwards sober officer. Maybe you should get a beer. This chair is stressful enough to want a beer. But I don't I don't keep alcohol in the house anymore. I haven't done that since um HRH said Alex said that it was loser behavior to drink by yourself. And there was a point where I was drinking a lot by myself.